System performance information has evolved somewhat over the time with the KDE Plasma desktop. I'm just looking here in the K-Info Center, and this is very fine for finding out information about the processor, about the graphics card, but it doesn't say how well they're actually running. What's the temperature of my graphics card at the moment? I don't know. I'm sure I know how much uh, memory is being used, but uh, this is all very basic, and that's fine. This is the whole purpose of K-Info Center, it's just to display information about the hardware. In terms of performance, we used to have k -Syscard. We can see the information about the processes, the CPU usage, memory usage, GPU, GPU memory, etc. I get the system load graphs. But a couple of versions or so ago, we had these new system monitor sensor graphs that could be added as widgets. So you can actually customize these widgets and you could display different information about a particular sensor. And you had a various different presets with the chart, so it could be different chart types, as you can see there, bar chart, horizontal bars, line chart, pie charts. If I just load a preset here, you can get memory usage, and yeah, just go for that. So memory usage, and that's quite a nice little pie chart I can have on the desktop. But it's on the desktop, and maybe it would be nice to have it as an application. Well, that is where the new Plasma System Monitor comes in, and this came out in the Plasma 5.21 desktop. You get the graphs about how the system is running, you get some text information about the system, and you can have the line graphs showing the CPU, memory, and network usage here. I have to say, I do like the coloring here on the CPU graph. That, that does look very nice, and with, um, <laughs> yeah, a few cores in the system, that does look very good indeed. If I just uh, run something there, so that's a 4K video in YouTube, and if I go across the process usage, I can see the browser is using a bit of resource there. Although it's not displaying the GPU usage properly there. It does display a number occasionally, but I'm not sure that uh, usage is actually particularly high. Mm. But as with everything in KDE, it is all customizable and you can choose different things you want to view. This is a new page that I made and I chose to display the temperature sensors. So I've got a GPU sensor there, and these are the sensors on my motherboard. So I am limited in what sensors I have on my system and what sensors the kernel has recognized. But yeah, this is the graph I can display. And if I do something to, let's say, make one of these graphs move. So if I start up a virtual machine, yeah, that's a virtual machine being started there. That's Ubuntu server. Yeah, you can see the NVMe disk doing a bit of read writing there. So I have to say that does look very nice. So these graphs, yep, you can configure the columns. You can choose whether to say like text or line charts. You can move the column ordering. There's a few other things that you can display that are hidden by default. Yeah, just a few things here. <laughs> I'm not going to read all these out. But yeah, you can see the information you can get about the processes that are running. I say processes, but I do mean applications there. These are the applications I have open, the applications I launch from the desktop. But there's more running in the background, so there are other processes, and that is this lot here. Show own processes or all processes or all like system stuff. Oh, this is great. Get so much different view about the system. You can kill the processes just as you would expect to with any normal system monitor. And yet you can add new pages, a new blank page. And this will just give you an idea of the sort of stuff you can put in here and the way you can customize it. So by default here you get a blank pie chart. And if I just select it, and then I can choose which sensor to put on there. Well, actually, I should choose a, a chart style first. So what should we have? Well, let's just try a bar chart. And we'll have, we can select through it, or you can just start typing a search. I don't think power is going to do anything. No, I don't have a power sensor on my system. So let's just get rid of that. Uh, system uptime. Go on then, try that out for an uptime. Oh, that's a bit uh, <laughs> that's a bit large there, isn't it? 
So maybe I'd only want that as one graph there. So I can just do add another row and you can add columns as well. But it is a bit uh, picky where you select this. So yeah, I've selected the chart and don't get any extra options. But if I select that little rectangle just above, then I can add and add a column and add another chart in there. Yeah, obviously a bar chart is probably not the best thing to have as a system up time there. <laughs> That's just a really bad choice, isn't it? Oh, let's just let's just say text only or something. There we are. That's better. Let's see what else can I do. I'm determined to use a bar chart somehow. Oh yeah, GPU, GPU and GPU one and let's just say memory used. There you go. I can add a title. So yeah. New title, uh, amazing stats. Yeah, I'm very easily amazed. Yeah, you can drag that into place. So just drag it to there and then deselect it. Deselect it at some point on the screen. Go on. There we go. Deselect it by selecting something else. And in terms of configuring the page, again, you can give it a name here. So I'll call it amazing stats again. The icon, we get a lot of choice of icons on the system. That does take a little bit of selecting to find all these because by default it's just showing the application icons. So what I want is say all icons. I don't even know what would be a good icon to use. I have no idea and I could try and search for something. Um, although I'm just thinking of going for that one just below that says AXA because I don't want to make this video ridiculously long by trying to spend ages trying to find an icon because that's not impressive, is it? No one's going to be impressed by searching through the icon catalogue in the KDE Plasma desktop. Oh yeah, there's a configuration of page margins. I just leave it as default. So yeah, just save it and that's it. One item of customization I've not mentioned here is about the colours. So by default, it chooses a set of like contrasting colours. And it cycles through one set but yeah if you want to choose something else then yeah, you select the color there and you know, i could go for oh, what should i put for the uh, data to disk let's go for more of the blue yeah that's it so yeah there's definitely quite a lot you can do with the customization and obviously a lot of it is dependent on what sensors have been recognized in your system i certainly appreciate how that looks now it does looks a lot better than the old KSysGuard did. I think at some point KSysGuard will be retired, but at the moment there are dependencies of KSysGuard in the Plasma system monitor. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Mm -hmm.